I'm on this computer. Okay. All right. Well, welcome everybody. Um, the uh, live and online to uh, a pre, uh, to a town hall style meeting that we put together very quickly to celebrate the uh, holidays, to check out a brand new community like this. Uh, apologies to anybody online who, who isn't here, but you can come and, and tour. Um, and uh, we've got a, uh, a fun day planned for, a fun morning planned for you all. Uh, for those that don't know, my name is Steve Gurney. I'm uh, the founder of the Positive Aging Community and the Sourcebook. And um, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the story that's bringing us together. And today, we really want you all to give you all the opportunity to introduce yourselves to each other, both online and in person, but also give feedback to all of us on what you like about networking groups like this or gr groups like this, what ways that we can improve groups like this and opportunities and challenges in the future that we can help you all with. Um, so first, let me tell you the story of what brought us together. And then I wanna introduce some, some of uh, our, our cohort here. Um, I received a, a phone call, uh, two phone calls the same week from Sherry and Lauren, who you're gonna meet in a moment. And they both told me the same thing. They're like, hey, Steve, uh, figured, you know, I should give you a call now because got a group of people together. We wanna put together a group in Eastern Fairfax. That was Sherry. And then Laura, Lauren called and said, why isn't there a group in Arlington and Alexandria? You know, I gotta drive all the way out to Loudoun uh, to, to network with a bunch of folks. And uh, and I was like, well, guess what? You all are um, birds of a feather. So if you wanna start a group like that, why don't you start them together? And then as we started brainstorming, we also realized that, you know, um, and, and I think all of you share this because I certainly do, is when somebody new comes into the marketplace um, and where's Catherine from Sankura? Yeah, yeah. This is another project that hopefully we can talk to you. When somebody comes new to a job to this area, uh, what do we do? We tell them, it's like, well, where do I go to meet people? It's like, well, you got to go to Wafa, call Scott and Sandra. You got to go to Elson. You got to do this. And so I said, the thing that I might be able to lend a hand in is maybe we can create a calendar and an umbrella for all the Northern Virginia groups so that when people come into the market, it's sort of like, hey, what's going on this month? You go there and then you can join all the different groups and what have you. So that's that's the role that I'm looking at playing. Um, as you guys know, I used to do group meetings like this on a regular basis. Now, thanks to the pandemic, I am really seeing some huge benefits to these online discussions that I'm running. And But I'm real excited to see if we can pull off a hybrid event. So the 15 people that are online, don't jump off. This is a, an experiment, okay? Um, so I've done enough talking. Let me uh, introduce Sherry. And Sherry, if you don't want, oh, okay, oh, boy. that's the first thing. Yeah. Okay. So Sherry, if you want to uh, tell the live and online audience a little bit about your vision, and then we'll meet Lauren. And then what I'm thinking is we're gonna. Um, I, I want to hear from all of you, so we'll give everybody the opportunity to introduce themselves online and in person and share some thoughts on just what what we can do better in 2022. And uh, uh, so Sherry talking for the online audience um, to give you the feeling of what it's like to be in the room, this uh, this is uh, this is what it feels like. <laughs> You can, you can see everybody here. <laughs> okay, all right, Sherry. I'm, I'm Sherry Reed. Uh, for those who don't know me, um, I am so excited to see so many people here. Just a few weeks ago, I said to someone, Well, if we get three, four people, that'll be great. You know, it's a start. <laughs> so thank you all very much for coming. Um, in August, I got together with a group of about 10 people. I felt like the need uh, for a group like this was 
it was needed in Eastern Fairfax. Um, I didn't feel like there was anything out there like that. So it kind of evolved into, well, let me call Steve and see what he thinks. Maybe he could help us out. And then, wow, he just kind of, everything kind of exploded into this. So I'm really excited. Um, my vision really is to build a community of resources. I like to be a resource to anyone that calls me, any prospect, any colleague, any professional. I wanna be a resource. So we know each other in this room, but there are so many other resources out there that we don't know about that we can share with our prospects, with our clients, with our residents, with our colleagues um, that um, I, just, I just wanted something a little different to have those kind of uh, resources available so that you can help every single person that calls you or talks to you. Um, I think, uh, well, I guess that is it. I don't want to take, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. take Lauren's time too. Thank you. Okay, and yeah, watch those. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now let's meet Lauren from Sunrise. And a big round for Lauren hosting this event. Yeah. No, big round for Juliana. Thank you. Awesome. Well, I know a lot of you in this room, so thank you so much for taking your time um, this morning to come. Like Sherry and Steve already shared, um, I saw a need in the Alexandria and Arlington area to have a similar networking group to some of the others that I was attending. Um, I've been inviting people to come out to Wafa and Elson and just wasn't in their area, and so it didn't make sense for them. So. That's how the idea was born about. Um, huge thank you to Steve because literally Sherry and I were like, hey, this is what we want to do. What do you think? And he was like, oh, I got this. Um, so the template that you filled out to come, the emails that you got, everything, the logos, that is all Steve. So huge shout out to him. <laughs> so um, similar to Sherry, I have been I'm in the senior living industry for almost seven years. I started as a director of sales, actually in this original building here. So um, it's great to be back in this reinvented community. Um, but for the past couple of years, I've been doing business development for Sunrise. And one of the things like Sherry mentioned is being a resource. So I have families that call me or professionals that call me all the time and say, hey, I don't quite know where to go, but thought you might be able to help. Um, do you know X, Y, Z? And that is one of like the best things about my job is saying, yes, I do call this person or call that person or they can help you. So we really, the goal with and my vision for this new group in Arlington, Alexandria, really is to be a resource group. Um, moreover, than a networking group to say, hey, these are the resources. This is who you can call. Um, so again, we are excited about having everybody here and you all sharing with us what you envision and what you want to see, because it's not just my group. It's not Sherry's group. It's not C's group. It's all of the professionals in Northern Virginia that serve seniors coming together. So thank you again. And I'm excited for today. Awesome. Thanks. What I would say is, is that if you're if you're interested in helping uh, with Arlington Alexandria, touch base with Lauren. If you're interested in helping with Eastern Fairfax, touch base with Sherry, and then we'll map out the schedule for 2022. And the goal is not to be in conflict with any other group to work in synergy. And I think one of the things that they were talking about, instead of doing it monthly, maybe doing it bi-monthly for 2022 just because there is so many other things that are out there. So now here's where let's get, uh, let's, so I'm gonna say, let's try something first, but for all of you in the audience, uh, is Jim Lindsay back in yet? Okay, well, uh, when he comes in, we definitely need to give him a showcase, but, uh, but, um, but so what we're, what we're gonna do is let's go sort of online and live and what I'd love is for each of you to come up here in front of the camera, introduce your, there's Jim. Oh, okay. Uh, introduce yourself briefly in front of the camera, this being recorded so we can all use this later, but then, um, and just tell us who you are briefly. And then one thing that would be helpful for you in 2022, whether it's a group of us here or one of these new formed groups to, to help out with. And let's see how that goes. It, it might go horribly wrong, but uh, but I think we, but, but so what I'm gonna say is for the online audience, can somebody raise their hand if they would be willing to be our first online person to introduce yourself to the audience? Okay, we got somebody here. Uh, let's see who raised their hand. Whoops, 
I, you know, what I forgot to bring was my mouse. Um, uh, okay, I am gonna figure this out here. Oh, come on, why am I not? Oh, there we go, okay. Okay, so we are going to bring Samuel and we're gonna bring Mary and we're gonna bring Lindsay to the stage here and let's see if this works. Um, and then you're in the, you're in the, uh, sorry, uh, because I, you're gonna be in the, the um, on deck position, okay, here for our live. Okay, uh, Mary, say something. Hey. Oh, this, well, the speaker's work and everything. So Mary, introduce yourself to the online and live audience and uh, tell us your, your thoughts and try to be brief because we got about. Sure. sure, my name is Mary Catherine. I'm with Dispatch Health. We're brand new to the Northern Virginia market. Um, we provide urgent care in the home and we bill the same as if you went to an urgent care, you just don't have to leave your house. Um, and I'd love to chat with everybody. Um, and my medical director is speaking next week, right? On the 9th, he's gonna present Absolutely. on the 9th. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so uh, yeah. what I'd like to see for these groups, so I'm based in Richmond and I think the best part about these groups is just as Lauren and Sherry have said, to be a resource for each other. We're all about don't go to the hospital, right? We're all about aging in place and keeping people in their homes, wherever they call home. So I just think having us maybe even putting together some sort of listing or resource guide that we can um, have out. And I'm new to the Northern Virginia market. I live in Richmond, but um, so that's what I would like to see is just really lean on each other to help our clients and patients age in place and stay at home. I love it. Uh, thanks. Uh, and we'll be looking forward to next week. And now let's see, I'm gonna figure out how to mute and move back to audience here. Come on, oh, it's because I'm not wearing the right glasses. Um, okay, all right, here, um, why, I, I, you don't have your name tag, so. Um, yeah, um, okay, yeah. Uh, okay, so now we are gonna do a, um, we're gonna to try to do uh, somebody here in the live audience and, oh, God. This, is, this is harder than it looks, guys. Um, okay, but I promise, I promise I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it here real quick. Okay, so uh, Samuel and Lindsay, you're on deck here shortly. And uh, here, have a seat in the hot seat here. And, um, Tell, tell the live audience who you are and any thoughts. Absolutely. So I'm Nancy Garcia. I'm actually with Arden Parts of Annandale. Um, we are a memory care community. Memory care is all we do. What I really want out of this group more than anything else is to share those resources of support groups, whether they're virtually or in person, um, that deal with dementia. Because as we know, people are aging a lot faster and dementia is starting to come on a lot sooner for a lot of folks more than we ever thought it was possible. So um, that's truly what I'm looking forward to. Awesome, I love it. Okay, all right, you two are next. And then let's see, we got Lindsay here. So Lindsay. Um, Good morning, everyone. Lindsay Vajpai from Insight Memory Care Center. And uh, just like Nancy, super interested in supporting families living with dementia. And so I'm hoping through this new group, to, um, to make some new connections in the Eastern Fairfax and Alexandria Arlington areas, to force some of the connections that we already have and to be able to share resources with each other. I'm a super proponent for education. So um, I love as part of networking meetings, having some opportunity to learn about different services in the community. And I'm just really excited to be part of this new group or duo of groups, whatever it may be. Okay, thanks, Lindsay, and I like the fireplace there. That's awesome. Okay, okay. So let's let's since I'm here online, I'm going to Samuel real quick, and then we'll get a new crop of online people to raise their hands. Uh, Samuel. Yep. Good morning, everyone. Only my dad calls me Samuel, but it's fine. You didn't know. <laughs> okay. um, Sam Fernandez with Comfort Keepers. We're uh, an in-home care agency, new to the Woodbridge area. 
uh, we provide, um, we, we elevate the human spirit through interactive caregiving. So happy to be here. Good morning again to everyone. Sam with Comfort Keepers. I love it. Okay. All right. So if you're in the online audience, and you, you want to come up on stage, raise your hand and I'll get you on the next round. Let's do a couple of um, uh, folks here in who are live. So if, if, and you don't have to get on the hot seat here. You can bypass if you like. I don't want to force anybody, but this is a great opportunity for us all to get to know each other. And I think we're doing okay on time. Hey, um, I'm Elizabeth Mako with Capital City Nurses Home Care. Forgot my badge today, lost it somewhere. Um, for me, um, a lot of these groups can feel the same. So I don't know what it is that may make this one different, but I think the resources that are, you know, related to the areas that we're kind of trying to focus in, you know, maybe having someone speak from, you know, a hospital in Alexandria, because maybe we, we don't have we haven't seen that in with WAFA and with the Loudon groups, or I'm not sure, but something new. That's what I got. <laughs> that's great. And uh, Sonia? Yeah, I, personally, that's where I think that these regional groups can really find their niche is to really hone in on things that are specific to the region that they're serving. Um, yeah, go ahead. Well, hi, I'm Sonia Gao. I'm the Program and Community Care Manager for the Inova Parkinson's and Movement Disorder Center. Um, people think we're in one place. We're actually in four places where we have offices in Alexandria, Fairfax, Fair Oaks, and Gainesville. So the idea of a community networking system really appeals to me because then I can reach out abroad, uh, um, across Northern Virginia. Great, thank you. And uh, Jim Lindsay, come on up here and, and take a bow. Um, while I get some more online attendees. Um, so G Jim, Jim and I, uh, Jim and I were doing these, um, these live events for, for close to 25 years uh, before the pandemic. And, um, uh, and the way that you all would know where to go is, is that one or both of us would be out there directing parking. So, uh, I had to work on the computer today, so Jim showed up, and uh, uh, I want to give you. Uh, yeah. um, so Jim, yeah, sit in the hot seat there. Okay. Just introduce yourself briefly. Oh, yeah. nice to see you guys online. Nice to see you guys here. Uh, my everything's warm on my body except my toes. I mean, <laughs> I forgot to wear something on my feet. But uh, we love doing this. Steve and I have been doing it for 25 years, as I mentioned. And uh, I'm the parking guy, so I get to just ride on Steve's coattails. And uh, I'm with ACC family. Everybody thinks I work for Steve, and kind of technically we all do, right? But um, but I'm with uh, ACC family, which is a home care company. We're in our 27th year. Uh, started in Alexandria. We have an office in McLean, an office in Arlington, an office in Alexandria. And then we also have offices in Colorado. So we're sort of a becoming a national player. So uh, that's who I am and so glad to be here. And I successfully parked about four people that were not supposed to be here. So my apologies. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. So this row will be next. And then we. it looks like we got Christian uh, Randolph. Uh, Christian, if you want to unmute and introduce yourself. Well, sure. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I am Christian Randolph, and I know many of you because I am an ED by trade, but um, I left the ED world on site, and um, I now have Circle of Trust Senior Resources. And um, what we do is we are a resource to families, prospective residents looking for care options for their loved ones. And it could be anywhere from assisted living, memory care, independent, on over to any type of medical resource that you need. And I'm um, just working on site. Um, I wasn't able to be out um, in the, the masses, if you will. But now that I'm able to, um, to join, I'm so happy to be here and I look forward to working with everybody. So have hey. a good day. Thank Thanks. you. All right, okay, so if anybody in the online audience wants to jump on stage, just raise your hand, but let's start meeting some more of our live audience and let's, uh, Mitch, if you wanna come on over. Hey, good morning, everybody. Mitch Opalski with Synergy Home Care. 
been around 15 years now, non-medical home care. And uh, we're growing our brand. We're a national franchise. So we have six offices now in Northern Virginia. Monica Conroy is one of our new, uh, new family members. So uh, always happy to work with you all. And the, the one thing that I've noticed over the years is, uh, and where I think that we can improve on this whole concept, I love these groups, but there were too many of them going on. And so it's a big uh, time grab for us. Our time is valuable. So I would love it if we could narrow it down to three by region, and then everybody goes to those meetings and, and, and we get the biggest bang for the buck instead of having seven different groups really trying to accomplish the same thing. All right, great. And uh, yeah, and again, this is voluntary. So if I sort of point to you, you don't need to come up unless you want to, but we're all marketers here and this is a good marketing opportunity. <laughs> good morning, online people and everybody here. My name is Heidi Jarvis. My company is Caring Considerations. We're aging life care managers in Northern Virginia. And I love the fact that we're kind of re- redoing um, Elder Pro. Elder Pro was a pretty good group and it's the education and the resources like everybody says. Heidi Jarvis, Caring Considerations. Awesome. Let's see if anybody, nobody's raised their hand online. I'm going to be watching for you guys. So if you want to come on, just raise your hand. But let's, uh, let's go over here to this row if you, if you want. Good morning, Catherine Naros and Cura Home Care. Um, interested in resources for Alexandria and Arlington, just because um, we haven't had any that I've known of, and I focus on that area specifically. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Thank Great. you. Yep. And uh, go. And we're taking notes on on all the the different comments that everybody is making. We'll share that with everybody, to, and then also. A little bonus, I don't usually do this, but I'll make sure to send the spreadsheet of everybody who signed up and their contact info. So for all you signed up, you get a little bonus today. So. Good morning, everyone, people online, in person. My name is Adele Logan Galen, and I'm founder of a senior move management company called Smooth Move Managers. We help people declutter, age safely in place, also, we can move them so that the stress of moving is decreased. And I'm really looking forward to a group that focuses on this geographic area, because I'm not only in Arlington and Alexandria, but also in all of Northern Virginia, Vienna, uh, McLean, you name it. Great. So everyone have a safe holiday. Cool. Excellent. Yep. OK. Oh. And while well, you come, come on up, yeah, and I'll, I'll, we got a, I got a hand raised here. Is this okay with everybody? Is, is, is this good for you guys? Okay, all right. Um, I, one of the things when we did live events that I found was is that um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bring Phoebe in. Oh, there you are. Uh, all right, and Phoebe, you want to introduce yourself? Absolutely. Good morning, everyone. My name is Fabian Sharif, and I'm with Tribute Home Care. We are a personal home care company that's starting out in Northern Virginia, but we're located throughout Massachusetts, Maryland, Illinois, and New Jersey. So we've been around for a while, and I have been fortunate enough to have Sherry and Monica who share resources with me, but I think something that would be helpful for new people coming into Northern Virginia would be to have maybe more for centralization, especially when events happen. Um, sometimes it can be hard to know like what's going on and who's having a meeting and when it's happening and there's just too many sites to navigate. Um, and then I think additionally, just kind of having some kind of resource guide of the different companies and you know what we all focus on. So that way, if there's any opportunity to refer, you already have that information available. So thank you. Great, uh, thanks Fabian. And, uh, and Phoebe brings up a, an idea that Catherine and I have been uh, uh, working on, and that's the idea of like an ambassador program for people that are new to a job. Okay, like, so you might come from Maryland and you got a new job in Virginia and you don't know anybody. And so the, the concept of is sort of 
some of us could be sort of like ambassadors to those new folks. And, and where this came up is Catherine just does this informally as part of her job. But what if we sort of said, hey, yeah, I'll raise my hand, I'll be an ambassador. If somebody is in Vienna, Virginia, and they're doing you know, marketing for assisted living, I could, I could show them the ropes or something like that. Uh, just an idea, talk to Catherine and I about that one. Okay, sorry. And just watch that chord. Absolutely. Uh, hi, my name is Travis Major. I am brand new to the Virginian and the industry. This is my 17th day on the job. <laughs> um, my name tag is somewhere in progress, but I do have business cards now. Uh, I came to the WAPA meeting early on, and so it's nice to see some folks that I've met previously. Scott, Elizabeth, my new bestie, Adele, um, who I just met, but we're new besties now. <laughs> um, these, this is enormously helpful for me. Um, I volunteer as tribute to be somebody who has ambassador shows the ropes to. <laughs> I also volunteer to go to all of your holiday parties. <laughs> um, in my role as community outreach coordinator, they um, they want me out of the building more than in stuff and personal, but they want me out of the building uh, while they do the exciting fifty-six million dollar renovation. But uh, one way of saying, I'm happy to come to you. I look forward to meeting you all and learning from you all. Um, Where are you from? The Virginian, right next door. The Virginian. From the Virginian yeah. next door. So yeah, I thought you meant. Uh, I, sometimes when I drop a y'all, people ask me where are you from. I'm like, yeah. well, that's yeah. Rural Virginia, but anyway, it's it's great to be here. It's great to meet you all, and I look forward to meeting the rest of you. And I have business cards now, so say hi before you leave. Please. Great, and I think he has a future in stand up too. Uh, <laughs> you, you're really good. So, uh, Jennifer, uh, if you want to take the uh, the seat here, that's great. Oh, what I was saying while Jennifer's getting on stage, when I'm going to lose an were, ear this um, way, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know what? Um, I didn't kick anything. Oh, yet. no, it's probably it it's my fault. It is my fault. Okay, there we go. Uh, I was going to say that these meetings, what, what the first time they did a meeting like this was when our speaker didn't show up. And it was like, okay, guys, speaker didn't show up. Let's just go around the room and introduce each other. And after that meeting, everybody's like, we should just, this is better than the speaker, okay? So I, so I hope you guys like this. Okay, so Jennifer. Good, good morning, everyone. I'm Jennifer Brown from Seabury Care Management. Uh, Seabury Care Management is a team of master's level uh, aging life care managers that are uh, working throughout uh, Eastern Northern Virginia, Alexandria, Arlington, and Eastern Fairfax. Seabury Resources for Aging is a 97-year-old 501c3. The care management program has been active since 1996. Um, uh, you all, some, you all, oh my gosh. Um, I'm from New York. We don't say you all in New York. Um, but I, I, I am in Virginia. Uh, I worked for, uh, from 2005 to 2011 as the director of sales and marketing at the Fountains at Washington House in Alexandria, Virginia, where I had the honor of pleasure of working side by side with Heidi Garvis. Um, I'm happy to be back here. I remember this building when it was not renovated and totally uh, redone and it, it's beautiful and congratulations. And um, I'm happy that you guys are organizing the Eastern part of Northern Virginia because I think it, it will be a very good group to work together with. Great to see you all this morning. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. And uh, yep. Yep. Hi, everybody. Good morning. My name is Tracy Holina, and I also brought with me Kelly Harms. I am the uh, sales director at Brightview Senior Living in Fair Oaks, Fairfax. We are a new community. We just opened August 20th. We are a continuum of care independent assisted living and memory care, our Wellspring Village. Um, this is new to me. I have been with our organization since August 9th. So I'm excited to get to learn, to get to know everybody and have you be a part of our community. I guess what I would like to see is um, more of a streamline of partnerships with all of our resources. We're a continuum of care. We're all about the service to our seniors, to our clients, to our residents, and just from beginning to end. 
get them um, the assistance they need as they progress in their aging, which I think is what our expertise is in. So thank you so much. Nice to meet everybody. Great, great. You. Or, you're good. Okay. All right. And that's streamlining, guys. Okay. So let's hear. We'll go to you two. Uh, yep. Uh, come on up. And... Thank you, Steve. Yep. No, no. Okay. And no online folks raising their hand yet. Hi, I'm Jamie Wells with Comfort Keepers in Northern Virginia. Uh, we are covering all of Northern Virginia, including Prince William County. And I always like to mention at these meetings that. We do offer a discount to Kaiser Patients that is a national partner of ours, Comfort Keepers. So wow. keep that in mind for us in the future. And I'm really happy that we finally have a group for Arlington and Alexandria and Eastern Fairfax. I think it's going to be a great resource for all of us. Cool. Great. Like Ellen, and uh, it's always awesome when somebody has a new job. Like, mm -hmm. and, and that's part of the, the ambassador program. I used to be really good about doing a people on the move thing. But uh, Ellen, you've got a new position, right? Yes, good morning, everyone. Um, I uh, made the transition to Silverado Memory Care in Alexandria the end of September. And uh, it's been a wonderful opportunity. And uh, we are um, in our 25th year of standalone memory care, mostly on the West Coast. Uh, we started three and a half years ago in Alexandria. so. Um, glad to be here and super excited for the opportunity to have a networking group local um, and definitely just to echo what many people have said, providing resources in the community. You know, there's not a one size fits all resource for everyone. It's very individualized. So for me to have that toolbox to pass the baton to provide resources is invaluable. In addition, uh, perhaps targeting some of the case managers or, you know, I really have found that extremely beneficial for the WAFA meeting, um, just especially with COVID, the lack of uh, ability to access these individuals. Um, just the speakers have been excellent and valuable as well as the networking opportunities. So that's, that's what I would say, but thank you very much. I'm glad Great. to be here. Awesome, Great. congrats on the new job. Thank yep. you. All right. And um, yeah, and one thing, you, you know, as Ellen's with Silverado, I know that Sherry and Lauren were talking about having these types of meetings at different locations, uh, but that's something to give them feedback. You know, would you like to meet at the same place or you like sort of going around to different places? So um, yeah. I'm Jane Euler. And I am a care manager for Colleen Duell at Lionheart Elder Care. And I'm also a founder and end of life doula with Transition to Tranquility. And I'm also starting a new venture with a palliative care doctor that uses the doula model of care from onset of serious illness all the way through uh, the journey of serious illness. And I'm new to this, I'm not a marketer. Um, and I, I, one of the things that I've noticed, and I've just been to a couple of the WAFA meetings in this one, is um, that we're a little heavy on um, living, senior living and care managers. And perhaps we could get some other types of um, professionals in here, acupuncturists that work at end of life and uh, things like that. So that's, that's great. Right. Right. Excellent. All right. Yep. Okay. You online people, if you want to raise your hand, we'll bring you on if you, if you haven't had a chance. Hi everyone, um, I'm Jennifer Fitzgerald from Georgetown Home Care. And um, so <laughs> um, I'm fairly new to this industry. I've been here for about a year. And so that was kind of a crazy time to start a job. So I would love, and we do focus um, in Arlington, Alexandria, Virginia, we're also in DC and Maryland, but I would love this, this resource of networking in that area. And also anybody who would love to be an ambassador to sort of Help me in this journey. Um, I really love my job and I love um, helping others. So I look forward to meeting all of you. Great, excellent. And uh, as Scott McGuire comes up, uh, Scott is one of the leaders of Western Fairfax 
the aging at WAFA. Okay. Western advocates. Fairfax Advocates for Healthy Aging. Yeah, that's, which has been referenced quite a bit. And uh, so Scott and Sandra Fields are the ones that run that group. So hi, Scott McGuire, always best care, private duty home care. I'm based in Herndon, cover uh, Fairfax County. So um, one thing that's kind of obvious would be to try to coordinate the meeting times of the groups with WAFA and Elson because some people want to go to two or three or all of them. Um, and the other that hasn't been mentioned yet is just to consider one, whether you want to have a charitable component. So what we've done with WAFA from the very beginning is two fundraising events per year, one in August, a happy hour, and then a holiday, either brunch or happy hour with silent auctions, charging admission, covering food and drink with sponsors, um, other things like that, just to try to give back to the uh, community, especially older adult focused nonprofit groups like Inside, Shepherd Center, et cetera. So thanks. That's awesome, thanks. Um, okay, let's see, we are now behind here, Monica. And, and no hands raised yet, that's okay. okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm Monica Conroy. As Mitch mentioned, with Synergy, we're the latest addition to the Synergy family. My office is in Lakebridge, and we serve Prince William and Fairfax, Woodbridge to Manassas, we like to say. Um, I just want to take a minute to thank Steve and Sherry for spending a lot of time with me early on, and I really appreciate all the information you offered, and I love the resources. I drive out to Waffle, even though it is a little far for me, so I'm very excited that we're on this side of the county. Great. Thank you. Yeah, and one group that we want to make sure to reference is the Prince William Senior Resource Group. And uh, Lauren, yeah, yeah, come on up. And uh, and actually, that because Prince William was sort of going through some of the same challenges as as Lauren and Sherry, that's why the, we sort of they chose the name similar to Prince William. So there's three groups, Prince William Senior Resource Group, Arlington Alexandra, and Eastern Fairfax Senior Resource Group to provide a little synergy there. Thank you, Lauren. So, hey, everybody, good morning. Uh, Lauren Perea, uh, thanks for the introduction, Steve. Uh, yes, for what have been six years, probably this week, um, I was formerly with Old Dominion Healthcare, based here in Fairfax, and you may have heard our beloved company was sold. And so uh, I opted to not move forward with the new company and I'm looking for the next new adventure in our industry. So if you have any ideas for me, I've been in marketing for over 30 years. Yes, I'm telling my age. Elder disability <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, going once. Many calories. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I'm flattered. Um, so anyway, I am on the um, steering committee for the Prince William Senior Resource Group. Um, we have not started going back in person yet. I think that's something we're going to look into doing in the new year, hopefully. Um, but I love that Steve is coordinating all the different groups that are looking at doing that. I think we're, we're stronger together than separate. Um, I love the idea that hopefully we'll be able to post the different events, the different speakers. Um, so, you know, people aren't going to the same speaker. They still want to network. And so it's educational. Um, but yet it's also a great opportunity to meet other resources and network. So I look forward to partnering with um, you all, with the other two groups and seeing um, what the new year brings for all of us. I, I think it's just such a great opportunity. So thank you, Steve, for pulling us all together. Great. Happy right. holidays. And we got uh, on deck here. And let's see, let's just get the next couple. Why don't you all just come on up while she's talking so that we can get this going and then we can do our free for all, uh, you, you know, afterwards. Yep. Good morning, everyone. My name is Diana Dixon. I'm with Capital Caring. We offer hospice, palliative care, and primary care at home. And I've already learned so much this morning. This is a great refresher. And my whole goal is to really be a good resource to um, my clinical teams, um, our patients, and um, and I think all of us can, all of us together can do um, a lot of good for our community. I'm very excited that we have something now in Arlington, um, Alexandria, and um, Eastern Fairfax. So thank you, everyone. 
Hello, I'm Arvet Reed with Life Care Affordability Plan. So I've been in the finance world for four and a half years now, after 15 years in senior housing and healthcare. Um, the two things that I really want to focus on for 2020 is one, I think as a group, we need to come up with better strategies for solo agers. I think we do a really good job in the dementia space, but solo agers are just kind of there. And I think we can come up with some, some good systems and programs for that population. And number two, um, I have been working with people personally in their personal lives. So I know a lot of you think of me as the professional that we can refer back and forth, but I wanna encourage you if you're dealing with issues with your family members and how are my parents gonna afford it, I'm the person that you need to call and let's talk. I've actually had people in the industry hire me for their personal families and it really has made a difference. So don't forget that. Yeah, and we all think that we know everything in this field, and then when it happens to our families, we realize how much we don't know, that's for sure. Yep. Hi, I'm Mary Beth Crossan with Independent U. Um, I'm excited to see a group here in our own neighborhood. Um, I actually hated to go all the way out to Wapa, way on the other side of the world. Um, and I love to know about other resources. You know, um, we're a home care geriatric care management group, and um, with the clients that we serve, it's always good to know who we can refer out to. We get cases in Prince William County. We don't serve Prince William County. Um, you know, sometimes, especially now with the caregiver shortage, we just can't staff cases. And so to call other agencies, even here within the Fairfax County area is something that, um, that we do frequently. So um, I'm excited to see, uh, to learn uh, more about what you guys have and what you have in your businesses and um, what resources that we can pass along to our clients and the people that we serve. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Great, thank you. And, and Mary Beth brings a really valid point. A lot of times I find people come into the business and they're like, let's say you're working for a home care agency, you go to a meeting, there's a bunch of other home care agencies, like, oh, it's all my competitors. And it's sort of like Mary Beth just sort of stated it. The collaboration amongst us, even if we're in the same business, is huge. And when I look at where people get their leads, oftentimes it's from their colleagues in the same business. Uh, so. Um, Hi, I'm Monique Douglas and I'm with Harmony at Chantilly. I thought I was the newest person. I've been here for five weeks. I have a name tag, but no cards. So we could talk about that. Um, I'm just excited to be here. This um, industry is brand new to me. I have a 22 year teacher veteran and, and looking for a place for my mom in August, this whole world kind of just opened up. Um, so I'm just excited to be here looking to do the ambassador program. I'm volunteering also for somebody to navigate me through this. Um, but just the ability to share resources and network and learn about what's available for our elder community has just been eye-opening. So just happy to be here. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Now, another celebrity that we have here is Robert Bullock Esquire. Uh, big round of applause. And Robert was my partner in the DC Senior Resource Group, which um, just disconnected the whole thing. taking a break. But um, Robert, uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. I'm, I'm going to look at the audience. Um, I think there are two people in the room: Jennifer, you and myself, maybe Gertie. But I don't think, I don't think he was born yet. He was still selling source books for twenty five cents outside. Yeah, this is this is all repeat. This is all repeat. I'm the principal at the Elder Disability Law Center, which is a metropolitan law firm. We do everything in the area of elder law. We have moved in to life care planning and management, which takes care of a person. The difference, I guess, professionally is that we're accountable and responsible and fiduciaries. So most of the people in this room I know and I have worked with, we use you all as resources. Um, we started all of this with the DC Senior Resource Group. Uh, Steve was outside selling source books for 25 cents. Remember you wore dungarees and the yep, yep. t-shirt? Uh, actually, it's a flower shirt. Uh, so we've been through this. Um, and I've been through all of the issues that were raised when I started the DC Senior Resource Group, and I determined the best way to do it was to do it myself. We went from eight people, none of you were born, I think, in a room doing marketing to, to tell you what I did and I what you did and you sold. Somebody quit, um, didn't know what to do. I took it over, and it was a social group at first, and we turned it into an educational group. So this is the DC Senior Resource Group all over again. Just it died because the fair, it moved out to Fairfax. So my recommendation 
as to what you need is uh, what I put together was education and kept it tight. Very early in the morning, tight education on what you want to hear about intense questioning. Everybody introduce themselves, say hello, say goodbye, and you're out of there and you have your, your resources and your references. It was different then because there were business owners. Now we have all the workers coming out. They're too, it's too much. I am, we are so overwhelmed. My, I'm talking way too much, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I, as a long term, term. As I suppose we're a central resource because we've got to be accountable and responsible. There are so many of you that we don't have any idea what the answer is as to how you refer to 20 people who are doing the same thing, 17 who are starting and four who talk with Southern Access. That I don't understand. <laughs> so, so in terms of resources, uh, we're here. We're a law firm that answers 24 seven. You can call me on my cell, which is 703-851-6303. The give back for me is I've been long enough. I know almost anything in the field or I can get you to the person professionally you need to get to. And it's for free because we're in an emergent service. Um, one thought I had I wanted to share with you because I've recently been self through the hospitalization process and the whole process from beginning to end with home care services and what have you. I didn't know who, knew who to call. But one thing I learned that I would share with people out there is in the care managers that I've learned to share with you is what you need when you go into the hospital. This is brand new is you need a doctor on your team to handle what happens to a family when they go into a hospital. I'm getting a lot of these things. If someone wants to talk about that afterward, you can see I'm getting emotional about it because I've been through it recently. But boy, if you don't have a doctor when you go into that hospital anywhere, you're at a disadvantage. Now, I am an advocate. I came into Elder Law as a litigator. I'm a very quiet, unassuming guy, most of you know. <laughs> okay. The one thing that my firm brings to the table is we will fight to the death for the rights of a person in any facility or any care or any fight they're having with their family. We litigate, so we're a little more aggressive that way. But if anybody has any issues in the legal field you need a quick answer to, feel free to give me a call. That's the way I, I give back. Good luck. I'll help out the best that I can with this. But it's the DC Senior Research Group all over again. Thanks for the time. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to team you up with the guy at the Virginian, and you guys are going to be the comedy act for us. Uh, the, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now I have to follow Mr. Bullock. <laughs> you couldn't let me go first? Jeez. What happened to chivalry? <laughs> yeah, so we have, a, we have a very contentious relationship. It goes back 20 plus years. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, thanks for the kind words. <laughs> so I'm Melinda Gassel. I'm with um, ProMedica, uh, formerly Heartland Hospice. Uh, we do both hospice and palliative care. We are uh, now a nonprofit. Uh, we service almost all of Virginia, um, and we do the full realm uh, with ProMedica through uh, assisted living with art and court, uh, manor care for skilled nursing. And then across the country, we also have doctor's offices, hospitals, um, help me out here. We're one big umbrella. One big umbrella. <laughs> so, um, and honestly, what I hope to get out of this group is communication, collaboration, and education. And truthfully, you know, we should all be resources for each other because um, if I am not the right fit, and people know this, um, and I look at our vet because you know, we always say we were competitors 20 years ago, but we truly were not competitors because we always work together to find the right fit. All right. Awesome. Yeah. And for those of you that don't realize, Manor Care is now ProMedica. So we definitely want to make that aware. And, and it's cool that they've made the transition to nonprofit. So if you haven't said something and you'd like to just come on up here and, and we'll knock this out here and then we'll get back to just open networking. So anybody who'd like to say something. <laughs> Uh, to the audience, live and online, come on up. To, you're you're first in line there, and then uh, and then we'll do tours of Sunrise, and um, we can do some informal networking. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Juliana. I'm the director of sales here for Sunrise of Fairfax. I started with Sunrise four years ago. Been in a couple of communities, and we are very excited to be opening Fairfax now. 
We started welcoming our first residents two weeks ago. So this is a brand new, fresh community. Thank you. So, and this, this room where we are is our memory care. Uh, Tom, right there in the back, is uh, um, our other director of sales. So both of us are here available and willing to take you for a tour. If you don't have time available today, uh, please get our business cards. We'll be happy to welcome you any other day. Um, and yeah, again, thank you so much for being here. There are some giveaways bags um, all the way there in the back. So please, before you leave, grab one for yourself. And thank you everybody that is online as well. <laughs> I'm John Hinkle and um, my job, my function is to help pay for these bills on a tax advantaged and tax-free basis. Uh, I've been selling long-term care insurance since 1987. And I put well over 500 policies into place and had well over 100 on claim. So uh, that's sort of what I do. I've been a financial advisor for 40 years and I'd like to help all of the families of your uh, clients, your patients, your residents uh, to obtain long-term care insurance so they can have a uh, tax-free benefit to pay these bills. Okay. okay. Okay, and just did anybody else just get in line here? We're about to do this, and we're perfect timing. Hi, everyone. My name is Maya. I'm one of the director of sales at Sunrise of Old Town. Um, we just opened up at the end of April. I have another partner. Her name is Stephanie. We're both just new to working in the Alexandria area, so we're excited to know who's out there and what's out there. Excited to meet you all. Thank you. Is that different from the Beach Yes. Where is it? North Washington. Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel. I'm from Arendelle. I'm a retirement community. Um, it's a part of RUI Retirement Unlimited. Um, we are located in Springfield, Virginia. We have assisted living, memory care, and independent. So um, anything you guys need, um, I am a big referral source. Uh, we're pretty full right now, but um, if you guys have home care or anything like that, we would love to work with you. All right, and, I, and this is our Last but not least, uh, <laughs> panel member here, and uh, then Sherry will say a few words, and then we'll get to networking and tours. Morning, everybody. My name is Nick Bryan. I'm the owner of Comfort Keepers Northern Virginia. We cover Loudoun County, Fairfax, all the way through Alexandria. Um, and Jamie, I already spoke. I, I just wanted to come up and say hi and introduce myself. I can't wait to meet you guys all in person over coffee in a minute. Great. Okay, so anybody else? We're good. So, Sherry, you wanted to uh, wrap up with a few words. Yeah, well, I just wanted to ask everyone. Um, first of all, Warren, do you think you can put our email addresses up there? Well, we'll, we'll I'll send them out. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we're looking for ideas on speakers. We want to hear from you guys about who you'd like to hear from. Um, how does the communication work with registration and whatnot during this process? And also how parking was and Things like that. So I would want to hear feedback about that, just so going forward we can tweak some things that will work better for everyone. Great. Yeah. So oh, are, are, yeah. You, are you working on a location, or is it going to be here, or they're going to be different locations? So Arlington and Alexandria will be like in the Arlington and Alexandria right. area, uh, but that's up for discussion too. So like, do you want us to meet always here? Yeah, that was one of the questions. Was how do you guys feel about changing locations versus staying in the same location? And um, any feelings yeah. about that? Steve, I'm, I'm already providing the expertise in the field of all of the clients' houses. You've got such a compendium of expertise. All Oh, yeah. Yeah. But th th this, what I'm doing online. Guys, just so you know, what I'm doing online is totally different than this, okay? So the online meetings that I've got, you know, are online meetings. What we're talking about here is, and hopefully we begin to have more people that can come together. Like this is the max that we would permit in the building here, which is why we have the online component. Um, but hopefully we'll do more in-person meetings. So these are 
geographically located in person meetings is what we're talking about. Yeah, so I mean, several of you said, right, Arlington, Alexandria, like that's where you either your, your service area is, where your community is located, that type of thing. So we're really trying to be more specific, like geographically, to really meet the professional needs so that people from Arlington, Alexandria are on the drive to Preston to go to Lockhart or to Elson or out of Prince William. So that's the goal, with like geographically. Yeah. Not that you can't attend all those meetings, you're welcome to, but yeah. just we're trying to be more specific. Yeah, that's the game plan. And so, you, you know, if you if you looked at the territory and that we this is all give give these to your feedback, but we looked at it as sort of like Route 66 is sort of the dividing line in Fairfax. So this side of Route 66 is Eastern Fairfax. The other side is Western Fairfax that's served by Lafa. And then Arlington, Alexandria is very easy to define. And so these two, their goal, their, their thoughts that they want your feedback is to jump around to different locations. And I'm, I'm a fan of coming into new and remodeled communities because it doesn't matter who the speaker is, you're getting to see a new community, you know? So the good thing is with the pandemic, we've got a ton of new communities that a lot of us haven't been in. And um, so, so we, as they chart out the 2022 schedule, we can lock those in. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a senior living community. I know a lot of folks in there are like, are you yeah. inside new location house in Newburgh? So it doesn't necessarily have to be a senior living community. Again, we're open to any feedback that you want to share. We really want this to be not about us, but um, all of the professionals here. Yeah. So, so send us any feedback, ideas, speaker ideas. Anything you'd like to see or feedback from this meeting? Okay. This is awesome. I say we let's get to tours and networking. Yeah, so Thanks for those that were online. Off the boxes out here and you go back to the elevator.